So here's a crazy concept. Here it is. Let me just spill it out here to begin with. All regrets that you'll ever have in your life are born before you made the decision that led to the regret. Let me repeat that again. All regrets in your life that you'll ever have are born before you make the decision that led to the regret. Now, you may be thinking, okay, that's a bit crazy, but bear with me here as I make my point on this. And this is a really liberating idea because it makes decision-making a lot easier for us. A lot of clients I work with, of course, in my own personal life, we all get to the point where we're like, we're at this impasse with the decision. Will I want I? Should I? Shouldn't I? What am I going to do? Option A or option B? Loads of examples. Um, a few examples here would be, should I stay in my job? Should I start my own business? Another one might be, should I commit to this relationship or should I not really commit to this relationship? Another one might be very much more trivial than that seemingly. Should I go to the gym or should I stay at home and relax? Okay. Now, there are a million decisions. There's probably every day we make thousands of decisions. We don't even realize most of the time that we're making decisions. But sometimes we do become consciously aware of there's a decision to be made here and it seems important. But I don't know what to do, right? I want this video, I want you to come back I want you to save this video, right, somewhere in your bookmarks or something like that. And come back to this, this, this video every time you have a major decision to make in your life. Because it'll make the process a little bit simpler. So regrets are born before you make the decision. On one level, we have the behavioral level, which is option A, option B, right? And we spend a lot of time looking at option A, Option B, we weigh up the pros and cons of choosing A or choosing B, and we try to make this intellectual decision about it. And eventually, you know, it comes to the point where we have to choose one or the other. And then we choose option B, and shortly afterwards, we're thinking, oh, no, what was I thinking? Why did I do this, right? I'm such an idiot. I always make the wrong choice. Something wrong, I'll look at all these negative consequences. Now, if we go back in time before option B was selected, we will realize that there's actually, before option B was selected, there was another decision taking place prior to that, before that. And that was the decision that was, no matter what I choose here, am I going to choose to support myself in the choice or am I going to use that choice as a way to belittle myself and undermine myself? Right. In other words, what I'm saying here is before you make a choice, decide that whatever it is you choose, you're going to back yourself fully for making that choice. Okay. Now realize that option A or option B, the opportunity will always be there. If you choose option A, there's a, no matter what it looks like or turns out to be, there's an opportunity to support yourself or to belittle yourself and undermine yourself. But so is the case with option B. There's the opportunity to support yourself or to undermine yourself, criticize yourself. So before you choose either of them, you have to make a more fundamental choice. And that is, am I going to support myself here in this choice or not? No matter what I choose. Now, once that's been arrived at and you've, you've come to terms with, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this choice to really support myself. Then you can start to weigh up the pros and cons and make the best, most informed choice that you possibly can, right? But realize that if you don't make that choice, that fundamental choice to support yourself, no matter what happens, you are probably, the default is gonna be for the inner critic to come in, okay? And it will undermine your choice. So I hope that makes that a little bit simpler. It's a, it's, it's a concept that um, not many people, too many people are aware of. But the idea that all regrets are born before the choice is made, it's showing us that there's a more fundamental choice to be made before any external behavioral choice is made. Any of the pros and cons are even weighed up, right? So decide if you're in a place right now, even when you're indecisive about something, realize there's a choice to be made here. Am I going to support myself no matter what I choose? And then the choice will become a lot easier. And after you've made it, you may notice that there's a tendency to 
belittle yourself and remember, I did, rem uh, I did make the choice, you know, that I was going to back myself here on this. So I'm going to back myself, right? It, it, it's kind of interesting that no matter what we choose, there's that inner critic will have something to say about whichever one you choose. Okay. Stay in the relationship. Okay. I choose to stay in the relationship. Three months into that choice. Why did I stay in this relationship? Right. <laughs> Choose to leave the relationship. Three months into that choice, you know, um, why did I leave? So it's it's the inner critic, the nervous system again speaks through that inner critic. It's it's going to find problems. That's what it always does. So inevitably that will happen no matter what you choose. So make the choice to unconditionally support yourself. And uh, let me know what you think about that. I think I found that to be a really, really powerful concept in life and uh, something to bear in mind every time there is a choice, an obvious choice to be made. Hope that was helpful, guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.